everyone. It is Monday, September 15th in the year of our Lord, 2014. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's only four more days till Vegan E Friday. That's all right. I know it's Monday, but it's all good. Well, folks, today's show is going to be totally wicked awesome. Folks, you know beer is good for you. You're hot diggity dog damn right it is. I know I wasn't going to do a show today, but I got fans that... Begged for it, asking you shall receive. We even got a hunk request from one of our uh, super fans. Awesome stuff. But right now, we got to get to our unofficial sponsors of the show. Folks, this is very special. I know I've mentioned them a lot. The Chilla Beer Box. Chilla Beer. Very good friends of mine. Jack and his better half, Cindy Skinner, down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Folks, they came through. They said they'd do it. Now, I want you to see that page. Chilabia. Look for them on Facebook and please like their page. Folks, when I met them at a fair, they had 75 likes on their page and I bought this at a really good deal. Patriots Fan Zone, perfect beer carrying wooden box, custom made. Uh, it's got a freezer pack inside. This beer is nice and cold right now. Um, and he even keeps it pretty sturdy. Perfect for tailgate parties, for football, stuff like that. Perfect for any outdoor concert event. You got a freezer pack inside. Just like this. Nice and shape. And uh, folks, I want to thank my good friend Brad Rich. He did me a favor. He went out and picked it up for me. Because Jack and Cindy Skinner made a deal with me. They said if you can get our page to over 100 likes, we're going to give you a free Boston Red Sox um, fan zone beer carrier. Well, we delivered thanks to you, the fans, thanks to you, the viewers. Last I checked, they're at 112 likes on their page. It took less than three days for them to go from 75 to 100 likes. So check it out. Show up. Boston Red Sox fan zone beer carrying box free to me for my good friends Jack and Cindy because we go about good people, helping good people to reach out to other good people, you the viewer, so you need to go on there, get whatever team you want, they'll have it, if not, they'll make it, okay? Uh, whether you like college, foot, pro, basketball, football, baseball, hockey, it don't matter. And look at that, it's even got a beer opening apparatus right there, okay? My Patriots one has one too. Alright, so there you go, chill a beer. Get them, like them, please, and buy from them. They are amazing folks. And of course, my good friend George Austin Fine Carpentry. If you need a good carpenter in, on Martin's Vineyard Island, Vineyard here in Massachusetts, my town, my buddy George Austin, a very dear friend of mine. And uh, folks, he does some amazing work as well. George Austin Fine Carpentry, you need some good work done, he'll get it done. I promise you that. Good rates and great work. Okay? Now, my good friend Vern Russell, Lynn Vern Russell. Dude, this guy's a badass crew dog. I know from Jelly Old England. And uh, Lynn Russell, dude, you sent me seven different bottles of your homemade hot sauce for free. We've already tried some on Beer and Song of the Day. You want me to try one tonight? Um, dude, he's living in North Dakota. And he's making hot sauce that's so amazing. Even my love goddess, who's the first American generation born Mexican in her family, um, her mom approves as well. Okay, her mom's from Mexico City originally. Well, this is Thai basil hot sauce made by my friend Vern Russell. Lynn Vern Russell, dude, what do you go by? I always knew you as Vern, Vernon L. Russell, aka Badass Crew Dog, aka Hot Sauce Man. This one does not have a label, but that's all right. It don't matter. Let's bust this puppy open. Told you I was going to try it on the show. I was talking to you just a short time ago. Mm. Ooh, that smells good, and it smells spicy. Shake it up. You got to do it right. So we're going to try this here hot sauce on this here show right here right now. Just a little dab will do you. More dabs. Oh, God, that's good. Oh my god, that's wicked good. And it's hot too. Oh, hot. Burn. Dude, it's got some kick to this one. Ho, 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 ho. Oh god, I love this. I absolutely love it. Oh, this is delicious. Dude, score A+. Plus, no question about it. This is absolutely Michel Janine. French for wicked awesome. 
You know what I'm saying, eh? So I'm jogging a boot. Oh, Canada, indeed. You gotta give some love to our neighbors up north. And in Canada, they ain't far from you there, Mr. Russell. So there you go. Hot sauce legend. Dude, seriously, you gotta go into business. I'm telling you. Yeah. You like Smith Barney. You made it the old-fashioned way. You earned it. So, dude, you've got some amazing hot sauces. You're freaking incredible at it. All right, well, I'm parched. I'm incredibly parched now, especially after that hot sauce. And let's bust out today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's good old Sam Adams Harvest Pumpkin Ale. That's right. Think globally. Drink locally. Boston, Massachusetts. Greatest city in the world. Greatest state in the nation. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America. Period. Dot. End of freaking story. That's where it all began, baby. This has 5.7% of absolute exquisite wicked awesomeness. Above average strength beer. Great stuff. Harvest Pumpkin Ale because it is fall, baby. Or almost officially fall. Proper beer putting apparatus for me. Proper technique. Here you go. Oh, yeah. And, of course, the proper blues Monday style beer consumption apparatus. 45 to grand right into the beer consumption apparatus. Right over the keyboard because I'm that damn good. Haven't spilled drop yet. Never have, never will. Got the Colts and uh, Philadelphia Eagles on right now. Indianapolis Colts are up 17 to 6. I don't really care who wins. I like both teams, so there you go. Cheers to best of all of you pros, they say Jeremy Pai, as they say in Japan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mouthgasm. Big solid day on this here beer. This stuff is absolutely freaking smurfalutely amazing. I'm telling you, get yourself some. Get yourself some good old Sam Adams Harvest Pumpkin Ale and put it in a good old New England Patriots beer holder, a Red Sox beer holder, Boston Red Sox beer holder. Awesome stuff. Absolutely. Okay, well, we got a whole plethora of birthdays to get to, and right off the bat, my very own nephew. I am so proud of this guy, my brother's son, uh, JJ, Jamie Baker Jr. JJ Baker. I've known him since the day he was born, and I'm his godfather. And he's like my son. It's scary. He's more like me than he is like his own father. It's scary, but it's true. And JJ, 19 years old, and he has just enlisted into the U.S. Navy. He is now in tech school, intelligence guy, walking brain, top secret clearance, everything, the whole nine yards. JJ, I am so proud of you, brother, or nephew. I love you like a son. I do. Very proud of you. Happy birthday to you. And I know you're doing well, and I'm going to be calling you again soon. I miss you big time, buddy. And hope you have a wicked awesome day. I'm giving you the Love Doctor salute because, see, those that serve their country, they are like definitely earned it. And you, I'm so proud of you, man. Anchors away. Navy, U.S. Navy. Very proud of you, JJ. And cheers and apple juice to you. You're not old enough to drink adult beverages yet. So, it's all good. Apple juice, my friend. Next on the list, my man Bob Kowalczyk, this guy, badass mafioso, that's right, the old Mafia Wars, he's in the best damn Mafia Wars family in the history of social media, that's right, Strays Fight United, you know it, because teamwork makes the dream work, and Bob, you and I are always helping each out every single day, and I appreciate it, Bob, you support like a double D bra, underwire, that support, baby, Bob, Happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. I'll be on the old Mafia Wars right after I get done with this here show. And hope you have a marvelous birthday. And celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. Next on the list, my man Randy Cap Singletary. A legendary computer wizard I worked with in jolly old England. He's living in Hawaii. And he had he he um Submitted a whole bunch of, we, remember we, when we had that special Hawaiian edition beer and song of the day, where we featured his wonderful, gorgeous, better half Bridget as our real babe of the day. That was his idea. She approved it, and she is amazing. I don't know what she's doing with you, Randy. Just kidding, man. You're a hell of a guy, a dapper man. And why haven't you become a, a real hunk of the day on beer and song of the day? Look at me. I'm horrifying to look at, okay? My wife had her contacts installed backwards when she met me. She fell in love with my charm and personality. You know? And she's a goddess. And you've got a great lady. And I think you should be real hunk of the day. You can do it, Randy. Happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Um, mahalo, man. Party hard and enjoy. Cheers and beers. <laughs> Squeeze me. Next on the list, my man Justin Lyman. 
Now here's a badass, uh, dude, what the hell job did you do on the job site when we lived in good old California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Southern Oregon? Were you a crew dog? I want to say you were a crew dog, but hell, I don't remember. All I know is I've been talking to you for years and years and years. I've known you for like 20 freaking years. Justin Lyman, a legendary badass of a man and a great friend. Justin, happy birthday to you, brother. How you doing? Hope you're doing well and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Hey, celebrate well and enjoy. And brother, cheers and beers to you. Next on the list, Jesse James. J-E-S-S-Y, James, not the famous outlaw, Jesse James, not that gorgeous wrestling babe, um, Mickey James, or Jesse James, the one that was with Eric Decker, oh God, former babe of the day, but, uh, or Yeehaw Country singer, Jesse James, oh, but this Jesse James is a mafia et on the old mafia wars, and I haven't heard from you in a long time, in fact, the last, I looked at your page today, the last post I had seen was from when I posted Beer and Song of the Day on your page a year ago. So drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. Hope you're still on the old Facebook. Love to hear from you. And Jesse, my dear, have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. The final birthday of the day goes to my man Tim Coward. A badass crew dog that I know from jolly old England. In fact, Tim, I know you know our man Vern Lynn Russell. Mr. Hot Sauce Man. Tim. Dude, I missed the hell out of working with you. A great man, always positive, always happy, always a hide worker. Tim Coward, happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Potty hide and enjoy. Cheers and beers. I got to keep it down a little bit. The little princess is uh, sleeping. Speaking of my little princess, I just I, I, I got to share it to you all on the old Facebook. My daughter Delilah, you've seen her on the show a ton of times. You see her behind me when she was itty bitty. She's 12 years old, 12 and a half years old. She's in seventh grade. And she got chosen to take the SATs already. Normally you don't take SATs until 11th grade. But she's that academically advanced. In fact, Duke University recognized her as one of the top most advanced students in her school. Which is why she's getting to take the SAT. I'm so proud of her. Delilah, daddy loves you. And uh, wow, I'm just, I'm in awe. It's truly wicked awesome. There's no doubt about that. You know, I, I can't say enough. I'm so proud of my little baby girl. I really am. <clears throat> yep, sure am. So cheers and beers to success. All right. Lots of additional shout outs to get to. In fact, we had a doozy of a trivia question. And how ironic that one of our fans who recommended today's hunk of the day, I decided to post a trivia question based on that hunk of the day. And uh, I didn't tell her that I was going to do a trivia question for him. She had no idea it was coming. But this actor made his first appearance in the 1970 movie Love Story as Hank. He has had a great career since and is still going strong today. Who is this actor? Well, our good friend Renee Phillips of Wicked Hardcore Tennessee titans fan and she supports her 49ers for her husband jason uh the lovely gorgeous amazing renee phillips the most wicked hardcore tennessee volunteers football fan true tennessee girl and a wicked awesome cashier here in yeah texas otherwise known as southern oklahoma same damn state uh renee phillips you said tommy lee jones bam you absolutely freaking smurfalutely nailed it wicked awesome job my friend a huge love, Dr. Salute to you. And oh, by the way, Renee's a Red Sox fan. How about that there, Renee? Red Sox beer holder. Yeah, baby. Renee, I drink to you, my dear. Cheers and beers. And Renee's always on the lookout for me. Showing me off. Showing me uh, new beers. Posting up on the, uh, the old Facebook. Letting me know what's going on in the beer world. I totally appreciate that. Speaking of the beer world, folks. September 27th in the year of our Lord, 2014, Abilene Yeehaw, Texas, third annual Abilene Beer Summit. Bring your ass along with the rest of you over there. Provided your legal drinking age, of course. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's four hours of drinking. Uh, North First Street. Trust me. Ask me for details. I'll get them to you. I promise that. We're going to have a wicked awesome and exhilarating experience. 
and I've already got a plan. I'm not driving there. I'm not driving back. I've got a ride there and back, and I'm hanging out with a lot of you friends out there, and we're going to get a little schnockered. No question about that. So, I don't normally endorse binge drinking, but when I'm in a beer festival, you got to try all kinds of different beer. So, just don't overdo it. All right. Wow. So, yeah. Lots of additional shout-outs. I want to get to them right here, right now. My good friend, Justin Dimmitt of Good Old Prosper. That's right. Live long and prosper. Folks, if you haven't checked out that Facebook page, you got to do it. He's at 186 likes. Let's get him to 200. He deserves it. Former admin of the show and page. Creator of the Baron Song of the Day Facebook page. And although he's a wicked hardcore Star Trek fan, you don't even have to be a Star Trek fan to love and appreciate the, the YouTube show Prosper. It is absolutely awesome. You think my outfits are great? I think he's trying to outdo me. Justin, you jackass. Quit outdoing me. Because you're... I'm getting jealous of the outfits, man. I really am. And by the way, your Indianapolis Colts are up 20-6 to 6 now over the Philadelphia Eagles. So there you go, brother. Alright. Um, let's give a shout out to, uh, Wesley Wingo. Wes Wingo, badass crew dog I work with down here at Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Eastern, uh, yeah, Eastern New Mexico, why not? Wes, hell of a guy, and, uh, dude, great hanging out with you today, awesome stuff, always love hanging out with you on the old job sites, a lot of fun, you're a hard worker, a great young man, a professional young man, we need more like you in the world. So someday I want you to do me a favor. Be fruitful and have and multiply. Have a litter of kids. Be like on uh, Antonio Pro Marty, that that NFL player that's got like eight kids. But do me a favor though. At least try to keep it all with the same woe man, will you? Don't do what he does and just have a litter of kids with like six different wives or something. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Well, Wes, cheers and beers, my friend, and hope you enjoy the show. Let's give some love to some weapons. Folks, these are folks that fix weapons for a living. They're totally awesome. In fact, two of them, brand new to the job site today, and I want to welcome them right here, right now. We got my man, um, we got my man Dustin Weatherly. Also cool young man, Dustin. Welcome to Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Northern Mexico. Maybe the same damn country. Oh, Dustin Weatherly, awesome young man, dude. Learn the job well. Trust me. You'll, you'll go places. You'll get rich. Semi-rich. Our job is a great job. We have a lot of fun. If you, ain't, if you ain't having fun, you ain't living. And I'd rather be living than dying. Dustin, my friend. Cheers and apple juice to you, my friend. And hope you enjoy the show. And to my man, Rashawn Jones. Rashawn Jones, another great young man. Ultra cool, totally badass, and uh, just moved to Yeehaw, Texas, on the job site. Great guy. Dude, great to have you here. Looking forward to working with you on the job site. It is absolutely phenomenal. And, dude, keep that positive attitude, you and Dustin. Great young men, great positive attitudes. That's what I like working with, people that are ultra cool, badass, and totally méchant genial. Again, like I said, wicked awesome. French for wicked awesome, eh? So I'm talking about old Canada indeed. So Rashawn, my man, dude, cheers and beers. And he is the pride of Cincinnati, Ohio, and a real legit no bull. Cincinnati Bearcats fan, Cincinnati Bengals fan, and good old, uh, good old Dustin, fresh out of good old Arkansas. That's right, northern Louisiana, pretty much the same state. So there you go. Ah, yes. My man, John Peterson. John, you're going to be working with these young men. And dude, I got to tell you, it's Blues Monday. I know how much you and I love blues music. So I wanted to give you a shout out and say, hey, 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 what up, Kaz? Come hang out with me sometime, will you? Maybe you should get a, what you need to do there, John, is be a guest co-host on Beer and Song of the Day on a Blues Monday, okay? Make it happen. Let's do it. Just like Nike, just do it. My man Maurice Brown, the pride of Charlotte, North Carolina, just like Ric Flair. Woo! That's right, Ric Flair, Charlotte, North Carolina. Same with the Charlotte Bobcats. Same with the uh, good old, formerly the Charlotte Hornets were there at one time. I like that team. And, of course, you got the old uh, Carolina Panthers. Oh yeah. 
In fact, Carolina Panthers faced my New England Patriots in Super Bowl 38, the Janet Jackson Bowl, where she whipped that puppy out. And my Patriots barely beat the Panthers 32 to 29. Maurice Brown, my man, dude, awesome guy. And uh, hey, I just want to say cheers and beers to you. Uh oh. Empty as a brain cell, and I have a janky fan. Don't worry, I got a cure for that, see? Because you know, let's do it. One of my all time favorites. Good old Sam Adams Oktoberfest, a 5.3% of absolute exquisite, wicked awesome. One of my all time favorite beers ever. I love this stuff. Brew with caramel. 40, uh, proper beer winning apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. Guess this show is going over 30. Sorry, Justin Dimmitt. A lot of shout outs today. 45 degree angle right into the big assumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm that damn good. Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. I've already got FBS. That's full belly syndrome because I had a big ass bowl of chili made by my love goddess. Ferris World Famous Chili. Absolutely amazing. Uh, cheers and beers to all of you pros. They say Germany Kapai as they say in Japan. Mm, God. Big solid A on that there beer. Oh, God. Oh, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's got to be an A+. Plus. Just totally wicked awesome. Um, wedding announcement. I'm so proud to announce that my good friend Matt Flanders, the pride of Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993, and I've known this man over 30 years, a very good friend of mine, Matt Flanders, got married September 13th. <coughs> Squeeze me. Just found this out. Got married September 13th to a lovely, gorgeous, sweetheart of a lady that I haven't heard from in over 20 years. And I've known her a long time. Carol Lee Silva. That's right. Carol Lee. Fine out saying graduate of Monsters Vineyard Beach High School class of 1990. And Carol, by the way, Carol Lee Silva, I still have your birthday memorized. Not that it's hard to memorize, trust me. I got it memorized. Didn't forget it. I had to verify that I was correct. And I looked it up. And I was. I sent you a friend request. I'd love to hear from you. Because you're a math teacher at the high school now. Wow. That's awesome. Totally wicked awesome. You and Matt, congratulations on your marriage. And I hope it lasts for at least... 70 years. How cool would that be? Wicked cool. So, to Matt Flanders and his wonderful guy, just better half Carol Lee, I say cheers and beers, mazel tov, and have a wicked awesome marriage. All right. Finally, I got to give some love to my good friend Susan Kebido, the private Illinois. That's right, Illinois, otherwise known as Western Indiana. She, she sent the picture today. And I love it. Because I don't know about you, but I am so tired of this stupid, bullshit, inbred, political correctness crap. Alright? People are too soft. As the late, great George Carlin calls it, it's the pussification of America. And that it is. So, I bring that to you. Politically correct. A term used for whiny, overly sensitive um, pansies. Who need everything sugar-coated for them. There you go. Quit being so damn picky and so damn oversensitive. Come on. Toughen up a little. Or as, or as uh, the late, great Warren Oates, you know, Sergeant Holker in 1981 movie Stripe said, Lighten up, Francis. All right. So there you go. I think we've got all the shout-outs. Let me double-check and make sure. God, that was a lot of them. Wow. A lot more than I expected. All right, well, we got to get to celebrity birthdays. And I think it's time we feature the hunk of the day, and I want to play some music right here, right now. And I know you there, John Peterson. Like me, you're a big old-school blues fan. How about we bring out from 1935, Strut That Thing by Cripple Clarence Lofton. As we feature birthday boy, he's 68 and definitely doing great, Tommy Lee Jones, your hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Big and A. And listen to that washboard. Triple Clarence Loft and strut that thing as we show off Tommy Lee Jones. Wow, look how young he was there. He's a football player. Up this morning, being bad. Thinking about times I was a fan. You went out, stayed all night. Do you think that's treating me right? Oh, you For you, Renee you Phillips, know. I bequeath upon you, birthday boy, Tommy Lee Jones. Oliver Stone, director Oliver Stone. Did you know that he was also born September 15, 1946? Two legends, 68 years old today. Alright, 
Hope with that volume, kids. Tommy Lee Jones showing some chest hair. Hey, yo, ladies, and you men that love the man. Instrumental break. Listen to that piano. Tommy Lee Jones, tough guy. Older and bolder. So nineteen seventy, his first movie role. How about that? Only 23, 24 years old. Look at that bow tie. Dapper. It's another instrumental break, huh? Hey, over there, I know you're a country fan. You like both kinds, country and western. A third instrumental break. This is totally wicked awesome. Look at that flat top, will ya? That's right, the love doctor sports it. Been sporting it since senior year of high school. And I will wear it until the day I drop dead. Hair loss does not run in my family, thankfully. I'm very fortunate. So there you go. That that may be how you always remember Tommy Lee Jones. But he's a lot more versatile than just Men in Black. But boy, he kicked ass in Men in Black, him and Will Smith. Alright, so let's get to them celebrity birthdays real quick. How about Prince Harry? Oh, I don't give a shit about royalty. A lot of people don't. But yeah, I just had to mention that he's 30 years old today. Milestone birthday to him. Uh, Tom Hardy, actor, 37 years old today. Um, Sam, uh, Sam Terry. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jason Terry. I can't read my own rate. Jason Terry, NBA basketball player. He's also 37 years old today. Um, I already mentioned Tommy Lee Jones and Oscars. Oliver Stone being 68 and doing great. Uh, famous explorer Marco Polo. Marco Polo, born in the state, 1254. Passed away in 1324. Uh, two gorgeous, hot, real hot, damn hot, wicked hot, smoking hot actresses. Chelsea Staub, that's S-T-A-U-B, Chelsea Staub. And Chelsea Kane, K-A-N-E. Two hot Chelsea's, 28, and I'm, I'm sorry, 26 years old today, both of them. Dan Marino, number 13, Miami Dolphins quarterback for many years, Hall of Famer, legend, badass, commentator. Well, not anymore, CBS just fired him. Uh, Dan Marino, 53 years old today. Uh, late great mystery writer, Agatha Christie. Born in the state in 1890, passed away in 1976. Heidi Montag. 28 and definitely looking great. Model. Um, Merlin Olsen, one of the fearsome foursome of the old Los Angeles Rams of the 50s and 60s, later to become an actor. I remember him in uh, Little House on the Prairie. Merlin Olsen, born in the state 1940, passed away in 2010. Jackie Cooper, child actor, born in the state 1922, passed away in 2011. Faye Ray. Well, who's that, Reverend Dr. B? Uh, Faye Ray, the legendary hottie in the 1932 33 movie King Kong the original King Kong she was the heroine the babe that King Kong the big ape gorilla fell in love with Faye Ray born in the state 1907 passed away in 2004 at the age of 96 Queen Queen Letizia of Spain she's 42 years old today and she is just drunk dead gorgeous I think I might have to feature some royalty as babe of the day again well my my wife is a uh, royalty you know, my daughter's the princess, my wife's the queen, therefore, by default, I'm the king. And it's good to be the king. Um, Patrick Marlowe, hockey player, 35, man alive, awesome stuff. 
Late great Yeehaw country singer Roy Acuff, born this day in 1903, passed away in 1992. Josh Charles, actor, born this day in 1971. He's 43 years old today. Nipsey Russell. Remember that uh, African American actor comedian? You know, he was on a lot of game shows and a lot of different variety shows. Nipsey Russell. Oh, man, him and his limericks and rhymes. I love this guy. I miss him. Born this day in 1918, passed away in 2005 at the ripe old age of 86. Gaylord Perry, um, the first Major League pitcher to win a Cy Young Award in both the American League and the National League. In fact, he won the Cy Young Award at the age of 40 in 1978 with San Diego Padres. Retired in 1983 at the age of uh, 45 with 314 lifetime wins. And he threw the spitball all the time, and they knew it too, but they never seemed to catch him. Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer, 76 years old today. Pete Carroll, oh, he's one of my favorite pitchers of all time. That's why I had to mention him. Pete Carroll, former mascot for the New England Patriots. Yeah, a.k.a. head coach. But he did kick ass with USC, and he's kicking ass with the Seattle Sea Chickens. Pete Carroll, 63 years old today. And finally, 27th President of the United States of America, one of my all-time favorites, and the heaviest president in the history of the White House, William Howard Taft. Born to stay in 1857, passed away in 1930. And JJ, I know you knew that because you and I memorized all 44 presidents of the United States. So there you go, folks. Let's say cheers and bears to all that. All right. Well, I got to wake up a little bit. Why not a little bit more of uh, Lynn Vern Russell's famous Thai basil hot sauce? Mm. Good God. Maybe I'll kill myself. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, shit. Justin Dimmitt, don't cry, brother. But the Philadelphia Eagles have tied the Indianapolis Colts at 20. Andrew Luck. Boy, he better put some luck out of that ass. Mm -hmm. He is good. That's Mr. Clutch. Oh, it's only third quarter still. Cool. All right. We got a whole plethora of this day in history, as you can see. We've also got a great song, and we have one of the most gorgeous babes of the day ever. Well, it's tough to say because I'll tell you what. We have featured many gorgeous women. In fact, this woman is a definite wildcat kitten. <coughs> Screaming. So I thought it was only fitting that we play some old school blues from 1931. This song is called Wildcat Kitten. I want you all to listen to the uh, guitar. I want you to listen to the lyrics. I want you to enjoy the eye candy of the pride of Boston, Massachusetts, and hot, real hot, damn hot, wicked hot, gorgeous, um, smoking hot, stunningly gorgeous, our babe of the day, Ashley Alexis. Yes, she is a New England Patriots fan. Justin Dimmitt, shut up, jackass. I know you're going to bust my chops on that, but hey, it's all good. I love you, buddy. No homo. Ashley Alexis, look at that. Just natural beauty. Because, hey, I'm not a dog. I don't eat bones. Give me a little bit of meat. Mmm. Yummy. Wildcat kitten, curly weaver, and Clarence Maw in 1931. Listen to this. And drool, my friends. Drool, will ya? I saw that picture yesterday and I was mesmerized. Gronk ain't never looked so good. Gronk jersey. That's a wildcat kitten right there. Ashley. Ashley Alexis. That's A L E X I S S. Nice assets right there. Good God. This is hot, real hot. Amazing. The Love Doctor's wicked happy right here. If that ain't wicked hot, I don't know what is. Oh! Thunder Jugs! Listen to that guitar. It's almost Georgian style blues right here. And I know my boy uh, John Peterson will vouch for that. And I also know this, this one was so hot, she'll make a gay man go straight. Or at least bisexual. Good lord. Ravishing in red. I love red moon myself. Ow. 
Gronk. Rock out with your Gronk out. Hell, I should have worn that shirt. Again, nice assets. Just proof. You can be big and be attractive, but ain't no cure for ugliness in you unless you're looking rich. Good lord. It's not even fair how fine this woman is. Oh, I love those sunglasses too. Another instrumental break. Oh, Clavage, French for Clavage. Tom Brady's jersey ain't never looked so good, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm. Buns of awesomeness. It's not even fair, folks. She's going to be featured again down the road. Mm. Ooh la la. Tu es très jolie. You are very pretty. Yeehaw. That's a wildcat kid, y'all. That is definitely, totally wicked awesome, folks. We got more pictures as I drink more adult beverage. We're probably going 40 minutes for today's show. But I guarantee you'll be worth every minute of it. On this day in 2011, together with male and female, indeterminate can now be listed as a gender on Australian passports. Indeterminate. That's like saying, I don't know what I is. Or maybe you've got boobs and a tally whacker. Hell, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, it don't matter. <clears throat> on this day in 1992, Ted Weiss, despite dying on September 14th, the day before, Wins a congressional New York City seat. Yes, New York City. They voted a dead guy into office. Crazy, isn't it? And you know that happened again after that. Uh, I think Minnesota or something like that was crazy. And his wife ended up taking office. Something like that. Good Lord. On this day in 1991, San Diego State freshman Marshall Falk. Yeah, you know that guy. Indianapolis Colts and... Uh, Later with the St. Louis Rams, sets an NCAA rushing record, 386 yards in one game. Oh, good Lord. Huddle up, Patriots. Ay, ay, ay. Go, Patriots. You know it. I'll tell you, she needs to be a New England Patriots cheerleader. Good Lord. You don't have to be 110 pounds to be a New England Patriots cheerleader. And if they say you do, then that's freaking bullshit. I would hire her as a cheerleader in a high piece. She doesn't even have to dance very well. I don't care. All you got to do is wave some pom-poms and say, Go Patriots! Go Patriots! Whoop those jetsicles! Yep. Oh, that's the last picture of her. Let's, let's get cracking. On this day, 1986, first broadcast of L.A. Law on NBC TV. On this day, 1985, Willie Nelson's ever famous Farm Aid concert, benefit concert. Willie Nelson, great things he did there. On this day, 1982, first issue of USA Today, published by Gannett Company, Incorporated. USA Today, one of the most leading newspapers in the United States. And it's pretty impressive. They only came out in 1982. On this day, 1979, I actually remember when this happened. I was six years old. Red Sox uh, baseball player, uh, Bob Watson, 1979 is the only year he played with us. The first player to hit for the cycle that's hitting a single, double, triple, and a home run in the same game. He did it in the American League, and he had done it in the National League previously with the Houston Astros. First to hit for the cycle in both leagues. On Wednesday, 1978, Los Angeles Dodgers become the first major league team to draw 3 million fans in a single season. Toronto Blue Jays crushed that record later on. Uh, on Wednesday, 1975, here you go, Justin Dimmitt. Bet you didn't know this. Market Square Arena. In Indianapolis, Indiana, opens. On this day in 1971, first broadcast of Columbo with Peter Falk and NBC TV. On this day in 1967, this is the Justin Dimmitt special right here for you, buddy. The iconic 
season two opener of Star Trek, the original series. Episode Amok Time premiered. That's Amok A-M-O-K Time. Ozzy 1965, another classic sci-fi favorite. Lost in Space with June Lockhart uh, premiered. And Jonathan, oh God, Jonathan Harris, his name was. That's right. Jonathan Harris. I'm And Billy Mummy. And uh, Angela Cartwright. Yeah. Because a lot of them were, all of them except for June Lockhart were in episodes of The Twilight Zone. June Lockhart was in Lassie. The mom on TV show Lassie. Ozzy 1963. A big one for the San Francisco baseball giants. As the Alou brothers, Felipe, Maddie, and Jesus Alou all appeared in the San Francisco outfield together for an inning. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jesus Alou was only 21 years old, so he was still a minor leaguer at the time. <coughs> Squeak me. For the most part. Ozzy 1961, Hurricane Carla strikes Texas with winds of 175 miles per hour. That's wicked fast. On this day in 1957, San Francisco seals. Of the Pacific Coast League minor league baseball game played the last game. That team most famous for Joe DiMaggio in 1936 before he went to the New York Yankees. Um, on, on this day in 1953, Boxing's National Boxing Association adopts the ever famous 10 point must scoring system. 10 points to the round winner, a, a system that still stands strong 61 years later. And on this day in 1953 as well, KVOA TV Channel 4, Tucson, Arizona, NBC affiliate begins broadcasting. On this day in 1952, a semi sad day in Boston, Massachusetts, as the Boston Braves played their last game in Boston Braves Field before moving on to Milwaukee, where they played from 1953 to 1965 and then moved on to Atlanta after that. <coughs> that field <coughs> is still around, it's a college uh, field nowadays. On this day in 1949, 65 years ago to today, The Lone Ranger premieres on ABC TV with Clayton Moore. Also on this day in 1949, WJAC TV, Channel 6, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, NBC, later ABC affiliate, begins broadcasting as well as WJXT TV, Channel 4, Jacksonville, Florida, CBS affiliate begins broadcasting old TV stations right there. On this day in 1946, the Brooklyn Dodgers beat the Chicago Cubs 2-0 in five innings. The game is called because of Nats. Nats. Unbelievable. The day that Tommy Lee Jones and Oliver Stone were born. On this day in 1938, the day that Gaylord Perry was born, the only times brothers hit back-to-back -back home runs. And that was Lloyd and Paul Wayne or the Pittsburgh Pirates. On this day in 1930, the first international bridge match is held in London. The U.S. team defeats England. How about that? Bridge, I swear. you got to be at least 60 years old and know how to play that game. Is there anybody under the age of 60 that knows how to play bridge? Seriously, i got to ask. Let me know if you actually know how to play bridge if you're under 60 years old. Because I'm convinced that you are not capable of learning how to play that game until you're older. On this day in 1928... Alexander Fleming discovers penicillin, something we can all appreciate. On this day in 1921, WBZAM Radio, Boston, Massachusetts, begins radio transmissions. Oldest radio station in Boston, Massachusetts, one of the earliest in the country. On this day in 1916, uh, Britain's first use of tanks in the Battle of Somme, S-O-M-M-E, -M -E, and the first tank used in war, Little Willies. At the Battle of Floors in France. On his day 1905, 110 years ago today, Wilbur Wright makes his first airplane flight. Orville had flown December 17, 1903, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. But Wilbur got to make his first flight September 16th. Or September 15th, rather. That's what today is. 1905. On his day 1853, first U.S. woe man ordained a minister, Antoinette Blackwell. Reverend, hey, I'm a legally ordained minister. I have been since June 25, 2005, and I've performed a lot of wedding ceremonies, too. Ozzy in 1830, first to be run over by a railroad train. That's a shitty way to go. Uh, William Huskisson of Jolly Old England. Happy Independence Day on this day in 1821 to Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. 
as they all gain independence. Five countries gain independence September 15th and the year of our Lord, 1821. Way to go. Honestly, in 1683, Germantown, Pennsylvania, founded by 13 immigrant families. Finally, on the state in 1620, Mayflower departs from Plymouth, jolly old England, with 102 pilgrims. Where did they land? Of course, November 21st, 1620, Massachusetts, where the town of Plymouth, Massachusetts was incorporated. There you go. There's your history. Without them, we wouldn't have Thanksgiving. This is the first Thanksgiving was 1621. I got a very special, and I found this out while I was doing some research. 60 years ago today, some of the most famous portraits ever. She's a former baby of the day on Bear and Song of the Day, and she'll be featured again down the road. But I wanted to share with you, 60 years ago today, these ever-famous portraits of Marilyn Monroe with her skirt flowing and blowing in front of everybody. These were very risque photos in 1955. It was like the first time a mainstream actress showed her chonies. That's Mexicanese for panties. That was risque right there with Tom Yule as they were record, uh, filming The Seven Year Itch. Boy, that sounds like a disease, doesn't it? <laughs> the Seven Year Itch. <coughs> Squeeze me. Which was released in 1955. That famous scene is the stuff of legend. 60 years ago today, September 15th, 1955. There you go. <whistles> Marilyn Monroe, the standard for drop dead gorgeousness. And ironically, she plowed Joe DiMaggio. Supposedly, she plowed um, JFK. We know she plowed Arthur Miller. And there it is the ever legendary photo. Marilyn Monroe, a true icon. Sadly, she's been dead for 42 years, but thankfully, no one has forgotten her, and everybody is still familiar with her to this day. That is when you know you have got some power and some pull. This show went a lot longer than I wanted it to. Hmm. Earth is brain cells of an average multi old Canadian, Fanny. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, time to make a feed as they head out so everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink a drive, my spirit. Drink all you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking a driver is dumb to being a Yanks fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Eh, I'm a spirit, Tom Brady. <laughs> what a mouth-breathing, ugly-ass comedian he is. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people who watch on bets, or fake friends, or anybody that supports the fans, or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid, and definitely deserve a big fat G-F-Y. Folks, somebody else, see you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. But I think two for Tuesday might be shorter than today's Blues Monday. Hopefully.